and you can make a choice today, right now, to stop doing that. What's up, YouTube? This is Dilio. I don't have a slogan yet. I'm working on that, but I will. I will get back to you on that once I finally have a nice, cool slogan to to tag my website. I I don't think you really need that right now if you're looking at this video. To be honest, uh, this video is about how to deal with uh, music producer anxiety, depression, all the emotional strain and stress that comes with it, um, and particularly from the before. And and I get it. I mean, you're on the internet, you see all these producers, you know what I'm saying? They, they're, they're either, I guess, renting cars and taking pictures in front of them, or they actually bought the car and they're talking about, and they're, you know, they're taking pictures with the car and they're on Instagram and they're just, they're just looking really cool, right? And then you got some uh, releasing books or having membership sites, um, which goes for a lot of them out there. Uh, and, and trust me, if I had the, the viewership and I had the platform, I probably would do the same thing. So this is not any hate on there, but from, from the other side, outside looking in, it's like, yo, I really just want some information to help me move forward and stuff like that. Oh, I gotta go through a paywall. Oh, I gotta go through another consultation. You know, and I get it. And then you got tons of these videos. And after after all that, you're still trying to figure out how to develop your own path. And I think that's one thing you gotta remember is this, like, there's no one path. And I don't wanna suggest you, and I'm talking to myself in this video as much as I'm talking to you, and I hope this helps somebody, but I know what it feels like when your path doesn't look like someone else's path who is now in the position that you want to be in, right? Um, whereas they got placements or they got a certain number of subscribers or a certain number of followers. I get that. And, and you no, know, this video was inspired by a comment on one of my live streams. A person deleted the comment and, and I wanted to give them a good response because it was a great comment. And it just talks about how, you know, you see a lot of these people online, a lot of people that don't really seem that talented uh, make their mark on the world. You know, they don't seem like they're really doing a whole lot. And to be honest, it doesn't take a whole lot. It really takes more connection, a little bit of luck, a little bit of vulnerability. Maybe God wanted to put their finger on them. I don't know. And it's frustrating because maybe you feel like you're just as good. Maybe you feel like you got something to bring to the table too. And you're wondering why is it that, you know, they're on IG all day or whatever it is they're doing, taking pictures and posting things, and they're trying to be all deep and insightful, and you're still trying to figure out your own path. And I'll say this. I think I come from a very special place to talk about this subject, and I'll tell you why. A lot of the leading, whatever you want to call it, on the Internet, dealing with music production and going forth like that, they got placements under their belt, which is probably a lot why a lot of people follow them. I get that. And you want to learn something from someone who's been successful, right? But... Have you ever noticed that maybe it could be come from another perspective like this? They're no longer in that struggle of the of the before. This is the after. And they build from the after. Before they had to go to work. Now they don't have to go work a regular nine to five. And I come from being in the trenches the same way. I come from, yeah, I had a placement and then I didn't have a placement for a long period of time. Shoot, I should I feel like I should be, right? I should be in a situation where I got a thousand subscribers or a bunch of followers or full-time income for the music production and music. Like, I feel like I should be that. I don't. And I don't blame anybody. I don't, I hold myself accountable to that, you know? And the guy was just making comments about how come it's them and it's not me. And I actually did a blog post about this. And, you know, we just don't know really what's going on. We don't know what someone's situation is. We don't, we don't know. And emotionally, it's, it's, a, it's a place you can wrestle with. But the problem is, is that it doesn't come from any form of logic, right? we like, how come it's them? How come it's not me? But we don't know what that person went through, and that person doesn't know what we went through. And the most useless thing you can do, and this is a reminder, and keep reminding yourself this because it's the first thing to do without thinking is to compare yourself to somebody else. And I'm telling you that is a mistake, and you can make a choice today, right now, to stop doing that. Because we never compare ourselves to people who have problems. We never compare ourselves to the person who may have lost a loved one uh, early on in their life while this person might have gotten their career off the ground and they blew up with a song at, at 20 or 16 or 12, you know? And so there's so many variables that are involved that we can't pinpoint it, but I understand the thought process of saying, well, I should be like this and I should be like that, you know? Um, and, and, that, and it can be very frustrating. So that's what I'm saying to remind you, hey, 
don't do that. You know, it's it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. And like I said, I feel like I come from a special position because I bet a lot of the leading YouTubers who talk about music production and all that other stuff, you know, and, and, and I'll be the first to say, I don't know, but you know, they come from a position of a certain level of success. You know, they come from a position of having a certain level of placements, certain level of, of, of this and stuff like that. And I'm still growing and I've, and I've been around for a while and, and it's good for them to have that. And I want to talk to people who are in the same position as me, who are still in the grind, who's still in the before phase, before the life change. If you're anything like me, you want to have a life change. You want to, you want to figure out what it is that you can do for yourself to move things forward. And, I, and I'm telling you, the worst thing you can do is look at these other people who are all successful and they got all this other stuff. And I'm sure they mean well and they grant all this content. But after a while, after you do that, it's time to kind of shut the door on that and, and try things for yourself. And sometimes put your head to the ground and just go for it. Like, for instance, selling beats online. I've been trying to sell beats online, right? Like, this isn't the first time... I've tried to sell beats online and I knew about it for a long time and I tried and I didn't fully understand it and I tried to learn from certain mentors and it helped a little bit but I didn't quite click and so I put it down and then I tried again and I didn't, you know, and I'm in this back and forth trying to figure it out while trying to survive, you know, and while trying to keep a roof over my head, right? Trying to keep, keep myself and keep my mind right and it's cool. It's cool because I think I appreciate my path and I think I'm going to appreciate it that much more when I finally do get it, when I finally do figure out something that works for me, you know, when I finally do get a placement, you know, or when I finally do put up a nice enough following to, to sell a lot of beats online and stuff like that. And, and you know, like I said, and I, and I know what it means to, to make the mistake and compare yourself because how else do we reference ourselves, right? How do we keep track of our progress? You know, don't make this mistake, and I've made the mistake, and I'm, and I'm learning from it myself. Because if my path doesn't look like someone else who is successful, I can tell you about two producers from my hometown, right? And they're full-time music producers. They're on the grind. God bless them. They got it. And me, I'm thinking, shoot, I'm from the same hood. I'm from the same town. What is it about me that I got wrong? where I'm not in the same position as them. When I know damn sure I can make out a beat good as them and sometimes better than them. Confidently I can say that, you know? But that doesn't matter because they had experiences in their life that I didn't have. They had certain skills and certain things about them that made them special, that made God want to work in their life a certain kind of way or make themselves work in a certain way if you don't work with that, you know? And it's cool to acknowledge their success and be grateful for them. Once you're done focusing on everybody else who's had success that you want to have, it's time to turn that focus around and remember that you have some value too. And you've got time and you've got ways to, to describe them. And, and, and I get it. We're on the internet. Everybody who has some sort of expertise in it, they got a course. I'm not hating on that. I got a course too. I get it. And sometimes it can be overwhelming because sometimes you can buy a course and then next thing you know, their automatic email respond to you sends, sends them an upsell, sends you an upsell for consultation. Or maybe they're doing, or they're creating value on this platform and you talk to them and, and yeah, I got this service here. You know, it's going to cost this much. And I get that. And there's value there. And there's value there. And then sometimes maybe something might come to your mind and say, well, how come I couldn't figure this out for myself like you did? What was it about me that didn't click? You know, but I'm telling you that it's still okay to keep trying. It's still okay to keep working at this and figuring it out. And if you got the cash to drop for a consultation, if you got the cash to drop for a course, don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to take the risk. And everybody, every time I talk to somebody about a course, I tell them, look, if you're anything like me, and if you were a gamer, and I used to play video games like crazy, right? I would make beats, do my sound engineering thing play video games hundreds and hundreds shoot thousands of dollars over time on game consoles and games that are now put away like they're not even hooked up to my tv right now i don't think i got hooked up to my tv right now as a switch but i got ps3s xbox 360s that's show you how long ago i used to game i game on pc now but that's beside the point because i still i still game a little bit 
But if I can if I can buy a video game, I can buy a course. And this is not me trying to tell you to go buy courses, but I'm just trying to think of the mindset. You know? Like producer's battles. Like the biggest part of me that I didn't like about producer battles was was not necessarily judges, not necessarily them not starting on time. You know what the toughest part of, for me about doing producer battles was not having a consistent group of friends to come out and be with me in that. Right? I'm producing where everybody's having their family, right? I'm out here trying to battle, trying to get placements, trying to figure out how to do this thing with no one holding my hand. Well, and I get it. Folks got kids. Folks got things to do. And sometimes it makes you feel like you're crazy for doing this. Be like God, what Gal says, and go home and be a family man, right? And But now my mindset is different. Because now I have a beat store, now I got mailing lists, now I got now I got a way to leverage that time. To whereas if I compete in a beat battle now, it's not about winning. Because real talk, you don't really get much from winning. How do I know? I've been to beat battles. You want proof? Look at the beat battle videos on my channel. Scroll down and see what I did. Scroll down and see me lose. Scroll down and see me win. And my life don't change. Like I won a producer battle. And the producer that I met there produced a popular song. Said verbally, wanted to sign me. Great. Where's the paperwork? You understand what I'm saying? Paperwork never came. Or maybe you're a music producer or artist and you and you helped. You helped people with their songs. You recorded them for free. You gave them tracks. You, you're thinking if, if I can help them, they can help me move forward. And at the end of the day, they got what they need. And oftentimes those artists don't do anything with the tracks and stuff you gave them. And you're still left wondering, dang, where's mine? Right? But the truth of the matter is, is that I think it takes meeting wrong people to find the right people. And I think that if you haven't met the right people or found the right opportunity yet, then you haven't went through enough wrong opportunities and you haven't met enough wrong people. And no, there's no answers to how many people it's going to take to meet the right one. And honestly, there's no answers to how many books, how many courses, how many beats you're going to have to make before you can do something that can change your life. You know? And so I'm still in that trench. I'm still figuring out this YouTube thing. You know, I've watched people zoom past me because I'm still trying to figure out and I didn't quite get it. And maybe, I don't know if I will get it or not, but I'm going to keep this platform fun and I think I'm starting to understand better on how to bring value to you, the viewer, to my subscriber, you know, and to encourage you, you know. Like I said, you see a lot of people on YouTube that's made it. And great. You know, they and, and you may think of me as someone successful because you're looking at my subscriber count. But look at my subscriber count and look how many people view my videos. Maybe there's something I can work on there. And that's totally fine. It's okay to keep studying. It's okay to keep evolving. But try try not to stay and, and feel what you want to feel. Feel your frustration. Feel what you need to feel. And no, there's not going to be answers to all the questions, right? But feel what you need to feel. After that, figure out what the next step is. When you're in a funk, what I think, when it's hard to know, not know what to do next, I think the best thing to do is to study. Audiobooks, YouTube, courses, consultation, study, you know? And, and oftentimes, I have this saying, and I'm going to get off of here with this. Dig the dirt, find the nugget. Watch a YouTuber you don't vibe with who might be giving you some information. You ain't got to vibe with them like that. You ain't got to vibe with that person on Instagram who really is looking like they're taking for granted right now because they're doing some things that might appear a little wasteful to you. Take a look at them and you might find a nugget in that dirt. The nuggets and diamonds are in the ground. They're not in clean places. The only time a diamond or, or gold nugget is in clean places is in a jewelry store where they charge you thousands of dollars to buy that. Whereas if you own the land, which is your mind, you dig in the ground, you can find your own jewels. You can figure out your own path. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm trying different things. That's why I'm trying this little video format right here, you know?
And it's okay. This is YouTube. I've been here. I've been through the ups and downs. I've been through millions of views, and I've been through none. Nice comments, bad comments. Been there and done that. I'm still here. So if I'm still here after working on my dream after all this time, you can be too. And if you get there before me, good. Drop me a line. Let me know how you did it. Maybe I can learn from you. All right? So that's my video. I hope this helps somebody. And uh, if you like this kind of comment content, you already know what to do. I ain't got to tell you. Stay tuned for more content from yours truly. Dilio. Representing Dilio T2K. I'm gone.